morning everyone. I hope everyone is doing good this morning. The past couple of days have been really stressful and I think because of all the commotions, even the kids were kind of riled up this morning. Um, but they're off in school, everything is okay, and I just needed to take a break. The house is an absolute wreck. <sighs> but I thought, you know what, I need, I need a mental break, and so I watched some Twilight this morning <laughs> while I was eating breakfast. And to be honest with you, I haven't done that much other than edit tomorrow's video. This month has been just, you know, lots of things going on every single day, and I needed a mental break, I, I really did. So one thing I didn't explain from yesterday's video was the black stuff coming out in the shower, and that's actually absolutely normal. That's the carbon, the color of the carbon that's inside the filters, and that was just, you know, bleeding out. And eventually all the water turned clear and everything was fine, but that's absolutely normal. It's just from the actual filtration system. It wasn't dirt or anything like that. The pipes are brand new, they're spick and span, they're awesome, they're clean, so everything's going great. Today the guys are going to be back because they have to connect the washer and dryer. That one's still not done. I'm not sure if the tub is going to get finished today. Um, simply because there's a few more things that Nelson has to do before they can actually set it in. But then they'll be back and do that. So that is what's going on today. Um, eventually they will be here and the kids are also going to be released early today. So I have to go pick them up earlier than usual. But I think, you know, now that we're ending or nearing the end, I guess, we'll all just be a little bit more calmer. I didn't even make dinner last night just because the water wasn't ready when I needed it to be ready. And with the chaos going on, I, I don't think I could have handled that. I just, we got some pizza and we had some takeout and it was good. <laughs> but man, life just seems to get in the way sometimes. And so, but hey, but thank you for being here and letting me be real with you guys because at least I have someone to tell that to. So the guys are back and this is the huge trench that was dug up yesterday where the pipe that feeds the house connects to the well line that goes down into the natural spring. Now all that's been covered back up again because this part has been completed and this is the area that forks off. See this feeds the house right there but then this goes off that way so that we can have that garden over there and that's that water that's just going to be fed to the garden and not go through the system because we don't need that water to be filtered like the rest of the house because it is going back into the ground and for our garden. So that is still left to do. <sighs> so here I am in the car rider line. You guys want to see it get really real? <laughs> I totally brought some leftover pizza to eat in the car while I wait for the kids. I don't care if anybody sees me either. As a matter of fact, if they are like, you're eating pizza, I'm like, yeah, you wish you had some too. <laughs> Y'all, yeah, it's been a long day. And this is too early to be picking up kids, at least while I'm having plumbing done. <sighs> Sometimes I wonder, like when I'm sitting at like, the car rider line and I'm having these chats with you guys if people are actually like watching me or see me and go what the heck is she doing who is she talking to I don't know but then I guess it's normal people talking on their phones I don't know they probably think I'm on the phone with somebody or something it is a beautiful day it's gonna be in like 78 degrees when it finally reaches the peak today which is pretty warm and um not a lot of our trees are turning yet they say it's gonna take a little bit longer this year because of this final heat wave. But it'll be nice to see everything start turning. You know, I, I really love that. And I hope I can capture some really pretty footage of that. <sighs> but yeah, I'm just gonna sit here and enjoy my lunch. So 
so we were talking to the guys about all the work that they've been doing and trying to understand how everything functions well. I think the last thing right now that they're going to be working on is the tea off into the garden hose bib. So, or the little hydrant is what we call it. Um, but yeah, that's what's left for today. And hopefully after today, the only thing that's going to be left is the tub, but that's probably going to be in about another week or so. My dad is actually going to end up coming up here in order to help Nelson with the, that dry well where the backwash of the water is going to feed into. So he's probably going to come over tomorrow night so that he can work over the weekend with Nelson so that they can get that done and completed. It's been a pretty busy three days, but I'm glad it's finally, you know, coming to a close and we got the hardest part behind us. I'm waiting for Nelson to come back now. We got to figure out dinner because the water is shut off again. And yeah, so I think we might have to do another round of going out to eat. I don't like going out to eat that often during the week at all. I mean, we've literally eaten dinner out three times this week. I like to make home cooked meals during the week and then, you know, on the weekend enjoying a dinner out or so. But I mean, this week, considering the circumstances, <sighs> I'm giving myself a little bit of grace and you know, hey, we'll just have to eat out and that's okay too. All right, so we are done with day three of the plumbing work and uh, I'm just gonna take you downstairs so that you guys can see what it looks like. All right, so that is all plugged up. Those are brand new hoses that we bought for the washer because we wanted to make sure that there was no sediment in the new lines. And when we do our wash um, going forward, we don't want any of that stuff that was in the pipes to be in our washing machine again and get on all our sheets. That right there is the pump that once the washer drains, this actually accumulates down here and there's a pump that lifts it straight up and takes it to the original drain line from the washing machine above. So that was taken care of. And I know you guys were wondering if, or some of you guys were wondering if we had a sink down here and we do have one. Eventually this one will get replaced and all this will get fixed. This is where they opened up the back wall right there in order to put the new lines in. Um, but yeah, we will get a new one. Thank you, babe. We'll get a new one and, but for right now, you know, this is old and nasty, but we're painting so much. We might as well just use the one that they have right now until we're done with most of the work and then we'll replace it for a nicer one. We still have to clean up. There's still a whole bunch of stuff down here from the job, but um, everything is working. Here is our new system. It's a pretty big one. Let me see if I can bring you guys. This is the water heater. And this is the new water filtration system already up and working. And yeah, it looks like a whole bunch <laughs> of pipes everywhere. But there is a reason to the madness. Right, bud? Yep. So basically the water comes from the well water out there, goes into this holding tank. Yep. Yep, and then it goes over, let's go this way the brand new sediment tank and from there it goes through one two three filtration systems before it goes up and into our water lines to the house the line outside that little fire hydrant that I talked to you guys about that one comes through the wall and then it actually comes in to here before it goes back out again so it does get filtered or at least the sediment gets filtered out of that, but it does not go through these big ones because it's just not necessary. But yeah, everything is working great. Our water is clean, our pipes are clean. And yeah, any words, babe? It's just the hydrant, not the fire hydrant. Did I say fire hydrant? Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry, water hydrant. That'll be where we'll have our future garden. I didn't mean to say fire hydrant. Oh, man. We're tired. I think we're just mentally exhausted from all of the frustrations and all of the work being done and having, like, walls ripped open and... <laughs> the amount of money we've spent. Yeah, yeah. This was, uh... This cost us a pretty penny. Mm -hmm. So... I'm glad we did it. It hurt the budget. <laughs> but I'm glad we did it. <laughs> so that means... Everything else going forward will be done by 
I know, now we have to cut back big time as far as cost is concerned. <laughs> you can see the mess behind us. <laughs> it's pretty crazy in the basement, but I mean, it'll eventually look a little nicer than this. I mean, we gotta pull out all that insulation that remains. <sighs> we have our work cut out. You can tell in our faces right now that we're just exhausted. It's been like a couple nights I've passed out on the couch after dinner because I just have no energy. <sighs> Anything else? No, just, uh, I think it's the mental toll that sometimes the, the physical you can get over because you're, you know, you can feel better after a good night's sleep, but the, the mental toll that all of this takes, not that it's bad, you know, I wouldn't change anything for it. It's just, you know, you got to go through it and that wears you out. Yeah, we're pretty worn out. <laughs> so, I think we're going to call it a vlog here and um, we're going to go upstairs and maybe chill for a few minutes before we head to bed because, uh, yeah, I need a break. Maybe I'll go finish Twilight. All right. <laughs> all right, you guys. We'll see you all tomorrow. Thanks for hanging in there with us, following us along our crazy journey this month. But... We appreciate you all, and we hope to see you guys tomorrow. Until then, adios.